Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign as Brazil in Schizophrenic Sovereignty. He's retreating. We are occupying. For the sake of getting a good war score cost on the peace deal, we should probably just occupy everything. Seal of Confession. Add spy network against Tapuya. The Pope could discover it. I don't care about the Pope. I would actually, though, prefer Diplo points right now. And we are at 50? 49.8. Every month this goes up, so 1.94 divided by 12. It's 0.16 per month. Next month we should be ready to click the Pope button, which means that we can seize this colony, not send our colonists to it, let it be Protestant, and peace out. Back to making good money, two ducats a month. Even with the Fort Defense Advisor, we can actually consider hiring another guy. Uh, I would definitely like to hire the half-price yearly inflation guy that I hired from the burgers between episodes, because that would be great. Definitely waiting at least one more month to get all of these occupations in, and I would like to get this occupation in as well. It looks like that's not going to be this month. This occupation is complete. Speed 3 is feeling very slow right now because there's not a huge amount of stuff going on, but I'm kind of okay with that. Just slowly kind of moving forward a little bit, one month at a time, with each of these armies. Devastating my own lands is awful. We're going to have to build a bunch of forts to fix this. Alright, 99 war score. We have our Papal Influence thing. I didn't check between episodes, but again, I'm mostly certain that this is going to stick around. And even if it doesn't, I, I could just take Mercantilism. And, I, well, maybe the yearly inflation would be better. Gives me Monarch points. Now, let's, let's try for Levy Church Tax. See if that sticks around after we become the wrong religion. We can't do it while we're at war, but we're not going to be at war anymore. We're going to go and seize the province up here. Watch our military points, even though it doesn't say it. You do lose points. Then we will send our colonist here. He won't arrive for 60 days, so we will do our peace deal now and switch to Protestant, and we won't have any issues with Protestant. So... Peace deal, at the end of the day, is I want everything you have. I want war reps, yes, I want some cash. Yeah, this peace deal is exactly what I want. Sounds great, goodbye. Big peace deal, boom. All of these armies will retreat up to here. Unrest is actually kind of high because we're, we're currently the wrong religion. Yeah, this is all Protestant. So now, we go and we become not Catholic. Say goodbye, Pope man. Also say goodbye to all of our prestige, unfortunately. We gain 80, 80, 80 ducats from this too, which is kind of nice. Oh well, bye-bye prestige. And then let's check to see, do we still have the Pope modifier or not? Looks like we probably did lose it. Yep, I should have just taken the, uh, the other click. So my 90% certainty was wrong. I was wrong, I'm sorry. We can pass the Blasphemy Act. Missionary Strength versus uh, Taunts of Heretics goes down. That's fine, we're going to convert everything. Missionary Strength, Talents of Heretics goes down. It's fine, we're going to convert everything. Stability Cost goes up. That's fine, I think. Yeah, it's fine. And the Pope React. I think I may have just missed out on some Missionary Strength there, but I'm okay with that. Alright, new states can be created. How many state slots do we have? We have 19, and we're only using 4. So, just create all the states. That was it. That was all the states. This is a state that we have no cores in, unfortunately. Or rather, we have one core, but these cores need to be started and completed. Fortunately, it's only going to take 18 months because it is a accepted culture. It's our primary culture, in fact. Uh, we have four war exhaustion. We don't want to buy it down, though, due to ab age of absolutism. Our autonomy is good here, but bad here. Did he have to raise it at some point, maybe? It will be Tupanamban separatists with their high tech. I don't want to raise autonomy. We're going to have to fight him, I think. I am going to just start the core. Oh, that's actually Tupanaman culture, not Portuguese. Gross. Is what it is. Get the core started. We can build buildings with the money that we have. Uh, how's the spy network here? 95, actually. So we could sabotage recruitments for 80 spy network strength. Gross. Justify trade conflicts, steel maps, support rebels. Alright, let's just go ahead and do this. 
I feel like this might be worth it. I don't know. I would prefer for them to like rebel on their own, which they're actually working toward it right now. What is this? Uh, let's wait until we see a, an existing rebellion. Then we'll do the button, which guarantees a floor of 15 unrest per month, or 15% chance of progress per month, even though he'll have negative 100 in every province. And by doing that, maybe we can actually get two of them to fire at once, and we'll be great. Next up, we're going to finish this colony. France, well, not France, but French Columbia is adjacent to us, attacking Muisca. They are our rival right now. French Columbia has no army, despite his war against Muisca. Hmm. Well, I, I have provinces here, but they are Savoyard Colombian separatists. Let's get a claim on this guy. So that if Savoyard, whatever, pops out, we can just attack him. Alright, we can definitely afford more advisors, right? We're making 9.5 ducats a month now. Let's get the half-price yearly inflation guy first, I think. Or maybe not. Most of our money is coming from taxes. Maybe we do want to just have a level 1 right now. Missionary strength guy? Sure. Let's temporarily go with him. Alright, so we converted to Protestant. We have some serious issues with religious unity. But we can convert things in four months. Just four months. That's pretty fast. That's pretty good. And we should have access to another place to send a merchant, finally. Our capital port is still Amazonas. So we're missing out on the transfer trade bonus by collecting in in Brazil node. Got a huge penalty due to collecting from not in our trade port. We should probably move our capital down here. We have the admin points to do it right now. These are all existing cores. If I were going to do it though, where would we put it? I want that to be controlled by the burgers. Probably. I probably want my gold mine maybe in Villa Rica. We could just raise autonomy there. It'll, it'll cost me a little bit of uh, absolutism, but then we can move our capital to the gold mine. We miss out on having a defensive coastal fort. Any good terrain for a fort? Alright, highest development that we have down here is what? It is Rio de Janeiro. If I tried to move my capital here, it's still just 207 because our current capital sucks. Can't move my capital here since it's not cored at all. Since there's no estuary here, I really don't want the burgers to control it. Not to mention the four base tax would be wasted by the, the burgers. So I think we will make this our capital once the core is complete. So with that in mind, I am going to take the absolutism hit and lower unrest in that province. We have no devastation reduction at all in this area and devastation is pretty damn bad. Next thing I think I'm going to do, though, is build a fort in Villa Rica when we have the cash for it. That'll protect all of that land. And then we can get a fort in Sao Vicente to protect all of this land. So, let's get one of them started. We're losing some cash due to missionary maintenance. Um, our estate edicts. Do we have any of those on right now? We've got defensiveness up here in our current capital. Let's switch that back over to our missionary strength for now. It's just so inexpensive to have any edict that we might as well have it on. So the main reason we want to move our capital is just that we want to collect from Brazil. It's a better node. Amazonas feels, feeds into it anyway, and that seems fine. We supported our rebels yet? No, I decided against that, didn't I? Negative prestige, that's fun. Uh, Great Britain's planning to, to declare war upon us. We must prepare our defenses. Oh, this is great, so... <laughs> Military Tech 19, Great Britain, is planning on attacking me, and, uh... Huh. If they weren't hostile, they would totally want to... He wants that gold mine. God damn it. Um... What CB is he gonna use? What does he have on me? Got colonialism on France and French Columbia. He's got conquest on me. He's got claims. He's got a claim on that province somehow. 
It expires in 64. You bastard. I, I can't beat him. I just can't. Of course, his navy is going to be, you know, the British damn navy, so... He's going to come over here with 30 transports, 27 heavies. He's going to drop 30 stacks on me. And he has how many troops altogether? 57,000. The thing is, he can't even demand the province. Like, why would you declare that war on me? You can't demand it. It's outside of your courting range. It's undemandable. You'd have to take more provinces. And yet, you don't desire any provinces except for that one province. So wouldn't you just want to peace out right away? That's weird. Any potential allies for us? Inca's at negative 32 reasons. We should probably start trying to find more allies. And we do have one more force limit, so even though we're probably going to start losing money, I might need to... I need to train one more infantry just to continue to try to look strong. We can actually do a naval doctrine. <laughs> Selecting this naval doctrine will cost you zero ducats due to your navy having zero a capacity of zero sailors. Well, that's that's nice of the game to give me a free click. Chance to capture ships, trade ship trade power propagation. I mean, capturing ships is my favorite, but at this point, we're not going to be a very big naval power. Let's just take the trade power one, so that if we do end up building any actual ships. We can, uh, I don't know, make something happen with that. So we have maybe one month, I think, until he attacks. And no ally that I pick up is going to help. The only other thing I'm considering is what if I just, like, gave this province, if I returned province to Tupanamba, then, then Great Britain loses his claim on me. He has no way of attacking me. Right? There's no other CB that he has. Just Conquest. I could hide my whole army in the hills somewhere, let him occupy the entire country, and then... And then unless he changes his mind and suddenly says, well, I actually, yeah, I do actually want land outside of that one province. I don't know. I strongly do not want to be at war with him. I can tell you that much. And even though I'm considering making this my capital, with the gold value, four ducats a month in gold is probably not worth getting my ass kicked by Great Britain. Let's improve with Inca. We do have enough income. We've also gained even more force limit. We're at 17 now. Yeah, let's get more troops pumped out. Inflate our numbers. Plenty of manpower at the moment. Yeah, nobles want more land. Naturally. They can have the... What can they have? That one is actually a pretty decent trade good at 3 price. I'd like the... Well, the burgers can't handle that, so let's just take, give it to the nobles. That's enough. Any other clicks available right now? No, 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 no. And we are making money. Oh, I don't want to get attacked by him. I really don't. No, I'm not fighting this guy. Keep your gold mine. Not going to do it. Besides, I raised the autonomy to 100. I, I screwed the gold mine for him, and I can always move my capital there later. Well, <laughs> that's not true. The AI will not do that. Will not be smart enough, I think, to do that. And yet, you know. Maybe he'll move his capital back. I don't know. We could just break the damn truce and attack him anyway. Military Tech 19 versus our 16. Waiting on rebels to spawn, theoretically. We can't see their progress unless we actually click the support rebels button. Size 15 against his... 10 stack with two mercs. He makes 13 ducats a month. We're making 10.7. If I could get my capital moved, 
maybe we should just move it down here. Anyway, just to, to get our node in the right, our, uh, our trade node the right one. That'll make the burgers too influential. Burgers don't have any land at all right now. They just have a lot of temporary modifiers. Plus, I don't really want to miss out on the other stuff. No. Not going to send any more land to them. French Columbia is no longer a valid rival for us. Spy detection. Gain corruption at the cost of money or lose spy network construction. That's totally fine. No longer a valid rival, huh? Do we have any valid rivals? So we've got those two. I'm still expecting this guy to break free, um, at some point. Colony's doing okay. Colonist is about to arrive and help out. Only a 13% chance, so it's, it's fine. Not being the, uh, violating the Treaty of Tordesius gets us up to 70 per year, so we're actually kind of growing here a little bit. I wonder if Great Britain is, like, locked into that war deck after they do their loose lips. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be funny if, like, you could abandon the province and then he just declares a... A no CB war against you. <laughs> and by funny, I mean kind of stupid, but also kind of funny. I'm going to just constantly spend my money on, on troops right now until we are force limit in infantry. We cannot afford to go anything more expensive than that yet, but we need to be imposing. We need to spend this and pick up allies and we have freaking four relationship slots that aren't five relationship slots that aren't being used. All these cores. We could have the entire coast aside from just a couple provinces there. Hmm. Still considering abandoning espionage. Abandon espionage, pick up... <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm basically replacing Tupanamba with Brazil, but you know, it's, it's still fun. I think playing as Brazil is like a really unusual country for me, so I like that. But it is kind of goofy. That spy network or missionary strength, 19%. That is some serious conversion speed. We don't need this guy here anymore. Get the whole army together. Our missionary strength guy for now. Um, if I hire another advisor, we can't train any more infantry, so I don't want to do that yet. Bum, 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 bum. Colony at 859. We are building that castle, which is going to be expensive, but... We need to have defenses. We can't just be defenseless. Even if it's an outdated fort on the coast, it's it's still better than having no fort. And actually another advantage to moving our capital will be getting rid of the devastation in this area. How's devastation up here? There is some. Got devastation in our capital. Should be gone next month. Devastation here. Can't actually build up any spread while that is devastated. I don't really want to build a fort in this area yet. So Para, 67, 67, 68. Burgers are happy enough. I think I will do a little bit. Especially with that trade good, that's good. This trade good, not so good. But Diplo points are the least valuable to me right now. Damn tropical wood, huh? Nearly straighten that area out, okay. Any development worth doing down here, I wonder? Cheapest price is down here, Pontal. We had one Pontal's not down here, but there should be some that are reasonable. 60s. So the fort that's gonna be complete eventually will obviously take care of all of that other stuff. 
Our most prosperous state is currently what? States and territories, maintenance. Highest development state we have is Rio de Janeiro with 0.29 ducats. Yes, this state. We want prosperity here. It will go away eventually, but, you know, right now we have positive stab and we have a decent monarch, so every month we could be building toward it. And I want to do that. We spend admin. It's all 0%. I think we'll do that. Let's, uh... Just do it. Ta-da! Prosperity. Well worth it, I think. This state... That is a not ideal province. Controlled by the nobles right now. And it does have the fort eventually doing the thing here. But honestly, like, just getting rid of it right away does seem really appealing to me. And again... Catching up on admin tech is not going to do anything. We're not doing an administrative idea group. We don't need admin tech. We just need... Money. We need income. Power. Hopefully you can understand why I like development so much when I'm in a position of weakness. It's just, it's the easiest way to, to solve the problem. Now we're making two ducats a month. We do have all this inflation that I would like to get down. I did learn, there were plenty of comments about it. They got rid of that financial ruin event a long time ago and I apparently never noticed or I missed the patch note about it. So you don't have that, that newbie trap at 5% inflation, which is really good, I, I guess. All right, I'm going to take a short break here. Next episode, we have uh, got about five years left to play as this country because we've only been playing for five years, right? Totally? 100% totally? So I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you guys for watching. See you soon.